Lisa, we're here with a little bit of snow on the ground, more to come this week, and Winterfest is coming up. You have a lot of plans going on, a lot of things happening. Tell us a little bit about the event. Well, we have two days of events planned. So we start Friday night, June, uh, January 29th, and we'll be having a celebration down in the Knightville part of South Portland, which is right down the street from Mill Creek, where we are now. Uh, several, several businesses are going to be participating with in-store specials. Um, we have a new thing here uh, this year called the Celebrate Knightville Passport, where if you pick up a card from us, it's like a bingo card, and you go get stamped at every one of those participating businesses, then you can qualify for a bunch of prizes. So that's something we have going on Friday night. Back here at the pond, we're gonna have a skating party. We're gonna have s'mores and fire pits and hot cocoa. That's all free, provided by our sponsors. Uh, Saco and Biddeford Savings is sponsoring that and the Buy Local of Cape Elizabeth, South Portland. Um, we'll have a radio broadcast here, so there'll be some music playing. There'll be some on-ice games for the kids to play, um, and that's from 6 to 8 p.m. Friday night. Saturday, we start over at the Community Center with our annual pancake breakfast, sponsored by the Lions Club of Cape Elizabeth. And then we go over to Wainwright Recreation Complex at about 11.30, and there'll be activities all day, uh, from our Chili Chowder Fest to um, open skate for families, a hockey clinic put on by the South Portland High School boys hockey team. Um, we'll be having ro wagon rides, we'll be having, um, and the end of the day we're going to be having a fireworks display, which will be kicking off about 6.15 p.m. And you can skate on the ice while you watch the fireworks, and we're hoping for a beautiful night, so it'll all come together that way. Well, it's certainly a lot for everybody and a lot for everybody in the family. Um, what's the genesis of this? Why does it, the city do this? Well, we got together with the Rotary of South Portland Cape Elizabeth about four years ago, and they wanted to do something for the community in the winter that promoted outdoor winter activity for families uh, to take advantage of the parks and the facilities that we have here in the winter. So uh, by collaborating with them, uh, they do all the fundraising for this. They raise all of the funds for this, and it helps them as well for their scholarship funding and the things that they do to put back out into the community. Um, and it's just a great community partnership. So, and we have always said that our parks are really underutilized in the wintertime. So we really want to get families out there to enjoy, you know, what, what there is to do. And I'm sure you're not doing this all by yourself, uh, organizing this. Uh, what, who helps you out with this? Well, it's, um, it is a huge group effort. So the, uh, the Rotary Club, uh, all of our sponsors, we have uh, Bath Savings Institution is one of our primary sponsors this year. Um, but as far as all the legwork goes, the Rotarians and all of their volunteers do a, a tremendous amount of work for us. Um, our Parks Department does a tremendous amount of work prepping all the parks and the areas for us and getting things ready. And we have just, uh, you know, so many community sponsors. There's just way too many to mention, but we are going to be, you know, we put it out in the community to them. Um, everybody from by local to the chamber, um, it's really coming together as to be a total community effort. And it sounds like it's a family-friendly event. I mean, there's, uh, it's, it's not just for adults or just for kids. No, everything is family-friendly. Bring the kids. Um, if you can, you know, bundle them up. We don't, we really hope for good snow and good ice. Last year, it was really cold out. We're hoping for a little milder temperatures this year um, so that people can be outside for a while and enjoy it. So, If people want more information about this, if they want to register for some of the events or pick up the big old card, where can they get more information? They can go to, we have a Facebook page, South Portland Winterfest, and you can go to that. We'll be putting our schedule up probably next week on the city website, which is www.southportland.org. Um, and that will be there as well as on our Facebook page. And they can contact me if they want at the community center. Um, my email is lthompson at southportland.org or they can call 767-7650 for information on any of the events.